Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Acer Swift Go SFG1672. To open this device, you have to undo 10 Torx head screws. Pop the plate in the zones behind the hinges. Pry the rear with a thin plastic tool. In our case, we just carefully lifted the back of the panel and that released all of the internal clips. If this method doesn't work for you, work your way around the side and the front with the plastic tool. There are two dust filters in front of the ventilation grill on the inside of the bottom cover. Our machine has the default 53 watt hour battery. You can opt for the optional 65 watt hour unit. To remove it, detach the connector from the motherboard by pulling it towards the battery and undo the two Phillips head screws that hold the unit in place. The capacity is enough for around seven hours of video playback. The result is decent enough for a laptop with a big high-res OLED display. Our test was conducted with the Battery Saver preset activated in the Windows Power and Battery menu and the Silent Mode applied in the AcerSense app. The memory is soldered, which is typical for a thin device like this one. You can rely on up to 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X. 6,400 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode, which sounds plenty for normal usage. For storage upgrades, there are two M.2 slots compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The slot on top of the battery is covered by a ribbon connector, and you must unplug it gently before installing a new SSD. Flip up the locking latch to unlock the cable and pull it out of the socket. The Wi-Fi card isn't soldered and it's placed between the cooling and the RAM. The thermal system looks decent enough for a laptop that lacks a dedicated GPU. It has two small fans, a pair of heat pipes, one long heat sink, and a heat spreader.